there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another couch video. The reality of the men who are players, womanizers, cads, etc. Whatever you want to call them. The thing they all have in common is they get multiple women, right? And I'm using them to really illustrate other points. Because you know what, whenever I, I do videos, right, or a lot of other, not just me, other content creators, particularly those referred to as dating coaches, right, you know, people will get into things like looks, height, and money. Like they're going there as, oh, you just need to have some money, or you just need to have this or that. And I'm like, well, I thought about it. I was like, well, the guys who get it all might not have what's considered those three things, right? And several other things, you know, like they might not have the looks, money, and status. That's an important thing, you know, but they get in theirs and see when people get in the comments of my videos or somebody else's videos and say, well, they just need this. And they'll say what they believe and stuff. Now what they know, what they believe. I'm like, well, hold up. If it's a money thing, why are these broke dudes getting it? You know? Or if it's a looks thing, and I'm going to get into that looks thing in a second. Why these dudes that the women say got a bit of ugly in them? Or ugly sexy, ugly hot, or don't look all that, but they can fuck. What they doing, right? So I'm like, hmm. And even the height thing. I want to get into that, right? Because, you know, before we even get there, understand my background. Rob well, ain't just some dude hanging out here. I've been formally trained in research. I got two degrees. And I learned how to research stuff early to really research stuff. I don't say stuff off the top of my head. Plus, professionally, I worked as an investigator. Y'all tax dollars, anybody who's making, who's paying taxes back in the 90s, y'all were paying my salary. So I know how to ask questions. And that just on, uh, on several different levels. And shoot, actually worked as a journalist for briefly. So I know how to ask questions. I know how to research and stuff. And even with my book, Nice Guys and Players, when it first came out, first of all, I had already been involved in several surveys to see what dudes are really thinking about, men and women, really. And ever since then, I've talked to several people, whether it's coaching, uh, some people I've talked to just on a pure research thing. Shoot, let me shout out Cousin Tito, because that's how me and him connected. Because he, he had said something in one of my comments. I said, hold up, I need to talk to you. Man, I got six pages of notes from a conversation with him. So I know what's going on out here just on a formal basis. And for people who like to dox, dox me, you'll see what my degrees are in. So look, here's the thing. So I've been talking to these guys, and particularly in the field of womanizers and players. See, unfortunately, there's not a lot of, like, stuff out there about that. Liz, you got stuff telling guys how to be that. But nobody, it's hard to find someone. Other, I give the exception, like that book Swoon I talk about a lot with uh, Betsy uh, Prelo, I believe her name is pronounced. Um, she wrote about, like, womanizers, ladies, men, but it's not a lot of stuff out there. It's not a lot of stuff. So, but it's an area I can say, well, you know what? I got the questionnaires. If people remember, I did a player's questionnaire on here. And it was really the third one I did because I did player questionnaires on my Facebook before. So I'm actually talking to the guys. Now, here's the thing. So I know that area. I would, I would, I would take on anybody in that area. I would take on anybody in that area. Because that's an area I specifically studied. It wasn't just like, oh, I just sat around and talked. Like, I, I got the paperwork. <laughs> I got the paperwork, you know? So, and some guys might even watching this. They can say, oh, yeah, I took his, uh, I took his question. Yeah, I took his question. Yeah. Right? But anyway, here's the thing, though. Because let's turn that. So that's the base, right? That's the base. These are the men getting women. Like, any man can really get a woman. But I'm talking about the men getting multiple women, right? Now, I want to connect that to the looks argument, the height argument, the money argument, right? Let's look at the looks thing. Let's be real with the looks thing. 
Now, I've said several times, yes, looks matter. Yes, they matter. They just not the only thing. And see, the problem I have with the looks argument, this is the problem I do have with the looks argument. People think it's one type of look. And you get men, they arguing about it. In fact, you got whole channels that be measuring men's jaw lines and all of that stuff, right? And I'm like, yes, a square jaw man do get women. Let's be real. There's square jaw men do get women, but there's some square jaw men who don't get women. That's the thing. That's the thing. Because there's about eight face shapes for a man. And when I look at the players, when I interview them, when I talk to them, most of them, 90% of them, 95% of them didn't have a square jaw. Yet I knew they were getting women, not just off of what they were saying. But remember, another part of research is called qualitative research. And that's something sociologists do, anthropologists do. They actually live in the area. They actually in the uh, milieu, social milieu, where stuff is happening. So when these players, I'm not just talking to them, I'm watching them. Also listening to the women getting with them. And they're getting with all types. And see, that's the thing where people think, oh, if you don't have that jawline, you got guys thinking if they don't have that square jaw, okay, fine, you don't. I'm going to tell you what, most of the actual players, most of the actual players, and I'm going to put that number at this point at several hundred, like really getting women and everything, especially since I put out my book, uh, the first version of it actually and back at, well, the first thing was actually a pamphlet back in 1998. So you get these guys talking, then I'm watching how the women responding to them and shoot, some of these guys had multiple kids. You know, yeah, it looks matter, but different women have it. These guys don't have, let's put it like this. These guys don't have those model looks, right? These players don't necessarily, it's very few. I've met maybe a couple, like one who was an actual model, another one, well, maybe two or three who could say, who could probably get a modeling contract. But see, you got some guys thinking, oh, I got to have this to get it. No, no, not at all. You know, the woman just need to feel you. In fact, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to tell you what it all come down to, which I've said on several videos. But I'm going to go on with this one, right? Because even in fact, even the square jaw don't get, might guarantee you a woman. I'm going to use two examples. A lot of people said Elliot Rogers was handsome. They were surprised he did what he did, but he was an incel. And then another one... Here's a funny thing. Here's another one. Women were going crazy over his looks, but there's been no indication he was a player. That's Jeremy Meeks. So, yeah, and, and what did I just say? Every single man can get a woman. I don't care what he looked like. It depends on what she looked like. You know. So, and I'm saying all that to say, you know, if you don't look a certain way or look like some superstar, don't worry about it. Most of the players don't. You know. Even if some of the women get with him, he's all right. <laughs> but he has something else I'm going to talk about tomorrow, which I've talked about. Anybody really follow me know where I'm going with that. But I'll talk about that tomorrow. All right? And let's get into that height thing. Here's something else. These men get multiple women. Only, I'll say, maybe 20 to 30% of them that I've seen in action that I knew they were getting women that you know or they even filled out a questionnaire only about 20 30 percent were over six feet let me say that again only 20 to 30 percent were over six feet because you get some guys saying well if you in the six feet you ain't get a woman yet you got I've, dude, I've personally known guys that were as let's say height about five four Boning like crazy. And no, they didn't have money. Like boning like crazy. And in fact, yesterday, yesterday, right? I was at Anne Arundel Mills Mall in Maryland. Right? Walking with my youngest son. It was just one of my sons and stuff. The other one had just had like his uh, wisdom teeth pulled. So he was under the weather. He wasn't going away. So me and him were chilling. Doing our thing. Hitting a few stores that were having to be open. I started paying attention to the couples I saw in there, right? I was I was seeing some dudes who were shorter than me, shorter than my son. My, I'm 5'11", 
My uh, youngest son is 5'9". Just for the record, my oldest son knows 6'3 and a half. Right? So, I was like, I was just paying attention. I was like, wait a minute. You got some dudes walking in, not just with a woman, holding her hand. The woman is, her body language and there to say she in them, right? I stopped counting at 20 couples. I, I, I'm serious. I was in research mode. I was like, because I was thinking about this video yesterday. And I was like, well, wait a minute. I thought short guys had a problem. Hmm. Of course, I knew, I knew better, but I said, yo, oh, you know. I'm like, because remember, I told you, I might see me doing a couch video, but my ass go out. My ass go out. Just as an aside, though, because every now and then you get that person thinking, well, Rome, you don't know what's going on out here. I got teenage sons and stuff. Shit, when I was driving, my son was telling me about the women he was uh, was showing interest in. So, you know, we be having those conversations, right? He telling me in the car, oh, yeah, yeah, her, yeah, her. No, not her. Not her pops. Not her pops. <laughs> right? But anyway, I'm in this mall. I stopped counting at 20. These dudes walking in with some bad-ass women. Bad, I mean, well, I ain't going to say bad-ass. I say minimum seven. Let's just say they were in shape. They had that nice breast scissors and bud dongs and, you know, at least a cute face. But it was ironic. The dude I saw with the baddest woman in there, this is this a definite nine. You know, she, she was tall. She was like light brown complexion, had that wavy head, slim body, slim, but, you know, had that shape. Dude, was she, she was taller than the dude. I <laughs> just looked at it. You know, I was just like, they got some stuff. <laughs> I was like, and you know, you can tell from the body language, they went into each other. So, you know, I'm like, you but you got some dudes, they be like, oh, they don't want me because of my height or something. And, you know, like I'll, you know what? And I've said this in a video before. Don't listen, do with women's actions. Women say a lot when they on these pants. Seriously, women say a lot. But then in the real world, you see something totally different. Got all these women, oh, he got to be tall. But you got all these women with guys that were under my son's, uh, is he 5'8 or 5'9? I got to measure him. He, they were shorter than him, though. They were shorter than him. As an aside, I got into some of my son going to be looking down on me. Yeah, that's cool with me. I want that to happen. But anyway, right? Seriously, I stopped counting that 20 couples. And I only counted the ones with decent women. It's probably higher because I know if the women didn't look like all that, I was like, no, I ain't going to count that. So you're talking about some guys with at least a woman who were rate of seven. And I'm talking about like cute face, body, she wasn't uh, fat or anything. And the age range was from like some teenagers to older people. And they sitting there chilling, just having a good time and everything. All right. And I'm saying that, that's just an example. But most of the players, most of the players I've talked to, witnessed, directly weren't. In fact, they be looking at me like I'm tall. And I shoot, I'm not, I'm not six feet, technically. You know, some people take it, take me for six feet. If I told you, I'm 5'11". You know? So I'm like, well, wait a minute. I thought dudes had to be six feet to be a player. In fact, I would even say, and this gets into some deeper metaphysics, and this is for the people who know what I'm talking about. Usually, the guys who actually have the best bodies will have a wood personality, and they, it's rare that they're over six feet because their bodies are going to have a, a more balance. You look at a lot of guys who've got a, like a really balanced body from head to toe, Right? It's actually rare they over six feet. Like oh, guys over six feet, they at best they tend to have at well one strongly ectomorphic, so they'll have maybe a slim slim muscular build, like they really hit the gym or something. But it's usually a slim muscular build at best. The guys with the tightest bodies are mostly under six feet. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I've known some of these guys, they personally, you know, had some women kill, killing to go for them, all right? And some women killing to go for them. The women tell me about the guys. So that height thing, you know, whatever, as long as you got, as long as your ass got something, 
women ain't tripping that much. Yeah, of course, yeah, you got some women. Yeah, of course, you got some women say, oh, he got to be height, but, you know, certain six feet. But then uh, you also got some women say a dude got to be a millionaire, but yet they work on a minimum wage job. And rate of four on a scale of one to ten. So I want y'all to keep that in mind. Then that money thing. Let's be real, yo. Most of these players ain't spending any of their money. Because some dudes think, oh, they spent their money. And some, and some of these dudes, you know what? You do got some players who making a lot of money. Who make a lot of money, professional stuff like that. And that plays a role. They, money is always going to play a part, no matter what. You know, everything plays a part. But to think, oh, they just need some money. Then why is it you got so many men paying for pussy? If it's just money, and that's what the women are checking, all they have to do is tell a, a woman they got money, and the woman going to, like, just get with them. Think about it. But most of the guys getting to play, even if they have money, they ain't the primary thing women getting with them. In fact, the women with those guys don't even think about the money part unless they're trying to lock them down long term. But especially short term, please. Let's be real with it. Now, and that's why I always say if a man get money, don't get it for women. Get it so you can live well. Forget the women. Get it so you can eat and drive your nice car and live well. But most of these players don't be spending money. In fact, I know some players, the women giving them money. And they're under six feet. And they don't look like they can get a, a fashion contract. Seriously. And I just want to share that because, see, here's the thing. Too many men hold themselves back. They'll be like, well, I don't look like that fashion model. Well, 99.9% um, .9 of the male population on the planet don't look like them either. Because people, is like, I, I use this example of Jeremy Meeks. Most people don't look like them. Most people don't look like them. And I personally know some women are rejecting because they say, well, you, you need to eat a cheeseburger or something. <laughs> you know? Or they'll say, well, I, I'm that six feet. Yeah, one of the biggest players I knew was, uh, no, I ain't know him personally, but a woman whose word I trust told me about him. She told me she'd give him some if he wanted. This dude was five feet. You know, it's all about the attitude. Shoot. I remember one time I saw when I was vending, had this dude uh, next to me. He had to be about a good five four. He had to be a good five four, right? Please. I saw this young girl. This dude was in his voice. This young girl was, she damn near was going to grind him right there on the floor. She ain't shit. That's just when she met him. But he had a solid body build, right? You know? In fact, I did. Yeah, I, this is one of the few times I did a video. I did a video with this guy, uh, his brother named uh, Stan. I'm going to find that video. I forgot what I called it. I'm going to see if I can put it in the description box and stuff. That dude, you can tell by the height. That dude's shorter than him. <laughs> women go crazy. I watch how women, how that women respond to him. Because even before we did that particular video about three women, he was like, hey, how you doing? They're like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, come on, y'all. Seriously. It's like too many guys, or they feel like, oh, I need all this money and stuff. It's like, no. I'm saying this because men have to stop holding yourself back. Stop holding yourself back. If the players don't have all that and get it, then it's open for you. And I'm going to talk more about what that one thing is. That one thing is. I've talked about it before. People, in fact, if you know what I'm going to say, say it in the comments. Say it in the comments. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow because everybody I notice. Here's the thing I notice. Everybody say the one. They talk about everything except the one thing that is really what works. And I'm going to say the one thing. Because even when I talk about body game, right? Even when I talk about body game. That's just a foundation for the other thing. That's just a foundation. I've said that several times. Because if you got that one thing, you don't worry about a mate. The thing you worry about is how to manage all those mates. All right? So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. I want y'all to think on this and stop holding yourself back. There's some dude who average looking or even ugly to some woman. Or, average, you know, at least average looking to a woman who's under six feet and has makes modest money or shoot, might be sponsored by the woman. Shoot, I remember 
where I'm living now, and I said this before, right upstairs. Right upstairs, I, there was a woman that was living, and she had this uh, Dominican dude that she was sponsoring. He was only about 5'8". He was muscular, though. But he was only 5'8". He definitely didn't have money because he ain't work. He just worked out all day and made the beds creak all damn night. It's amazing I got sleep during that time. <laughs> but seriously, it's like, come on now. And I don't know how she judged his looks, but, you know, he didn't look like a model type. You know, you know, close at best, to be honest, but, you know. So, but men got to stop holding themselves back, okay? Seriously, it's possible for everybody. You know, stop saying, oh, I don't look like that model. Or stop saying, I ain't six feet. Or stop saying, I don't have all this money. The player's getting it in. If the players can get it in with multiple women, every single man can get it in with at least one. All right? So, anyway, that's all I got for today. Peace and blessings, y'all.